And for more, let's go to Portsmouth in England. Jim Smith is Professor of Environmental, Geographical and Geological Sciences at the University of Portsmouth. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Hello. Next week on the sidelines of a NATO summit, we may see the, the Japanese Prime Minister sit down with uh, the President of South Korea, one of those expressing uh, a concern uh, after this decision, this uh, green light by uh, the UN for the release uh, of treated water from Fukushima. Uh, if you were the South Korean President, what would you be saying? I would be saying, go ahead, um, it's fine. I mean, that may sound quite strange for a radioactive wastewater release, but this is something that happens all over the world in uh, nuclear power stations in the UK, in France, in the US, in South Korea, indeed. So South Korean nuclear power stations put more, this is tritiated water that mainly that's going to go into the sea. They put more tritiated water into the sea than the, the Fukushima plant will. So this is a kind of, any other site in the world, this would be a kind of routine discharge of treated, highly treated wastewater, and it would be nothing to worry about. But of course, because it's Fukushima, the world's attention is on it. And because at Fukushima uh, as well, it turns out there were all sorts of security lapses uh, before that 2011 tsunami that uh, uh, damaged it. Uh, so it's understandable, the concern. That's right. The, un the, the concern is understandable. Um, but the, the, as the IAEA have noted, they're controlling this. So they're there on site in Fukushima. They're checking, they've, they've evaluated the Japanese methods of testing the water before it's released. They've also done an independent risk assessment, as well as the Japanese risk assessment of what the radiation doses could be to uh, marine organisms and to people consuming seafood. And those doses are really vanishingly small. Um, we've, we've got to remember that the Sellafield nuclear site in the UK is discharging about 50 times more tritium into the Irish Sea than uh, than the Fukushima site will discharge. Uh, the La Hague site in France is discharging about 450 times more than Fukushima will release. And so far, we haven't seen any significant negative effects of those two much bigger discharges. And the doses from them are, are to people in the environment environment are really very low. So so I, w I wouldn't be concerned about this release. Uh, are the releases at places like La Ag, uh, uh, on the English Channel a concern? Uh, not to me, no. Um, I, don't, I think they've been going on for decades. And I think because they've been going on so long, nobody really pays much attention, at least in the, in the UK, to them. I know past releases from Sellafield of other radionuclides, more radio, radioactively toxic radionuclides, have caused a lot of concern both in the UK and Ireland. But, but uh, radioactive tritiated water, if, if you have to release a, a radioactive element, and this is the one that they can't get out by treatment, so all the other elements that can get to really incredibly low levels by, uh, by water treatment, but, but they can't separate tritiated water from ordinary water, uh, but if you have to release a radioactive element, tritium is about the best one to release because it's, uh, it doesn't bioaccumulate. Um, and that means that the, uh, there isn't the sort of biomagnification as the tritium goes through the food chain. That means that the doses to both people and biota are very low. And the other thing about tritium is that it's a very weak radioactive emission. So the that it, we know that it can do DNA damage, but you need an awful lot of it. So, for example, the, 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 the World Health Organization drinking water f limit for tritium is 10,000 becquerels per litre, and that's seven times higher than the expected 1,500 becquerels per litre in this Fukushima wastewater discharge. Jim Smith, uh, between uh, our top story about the Zaporizhia plant and now Fukushima, what are your personal thoughts on the fact that nuclear power stations are dominating our news cycle? Yes, um, I, I've, wor I've worked on the, the Chernobyl accident for, for 30 years, and, and, but, but nevertheless, I'm still cautiously pro-nuclear, not because I particularly like it, but because we really we don't have so many choices in our battle against climate change. And, and we have to, you know, there, there are risks with nuclear that we're seeing that every day at the moment in Ukraine. 
Uh, we've seen it at Fukushima and Chernobyl, but personally, uh, somewhat cautiously, I think that we don't have too many choices and, and nuclear has to be part of our a uh, small arsenal of things that we can do to f to fight climate change. So, but that's not an easy decision to make, and I understand why a lot of people are, are very are much more cautious than I am about that. Jim Smith, many thanks for speaking with us from Portsmouth. Thank you.